Another fighter from another top gym here at The Rock. Out of Tsunami, Dean Glencross, three and one. And another impressive athlete there tonight, Dean, to mix things up for the crowd here in attendance in London. Dean Glencross brings to the table relentless takedowns against the cage. He will not stop until he gets you down. Also at range, he's got a brilliant left body kick, so watch out for that, Chris. So certainly relentless in pursuit of the mat here in MMA action tonight at the Rise of Champions will be Mr. Glenn Cross. You know, you talk a lot about what it takes to school an MMA fighter, what it takes to really bring them up and develop them, Dean. Wrestling basics and fundamentals is about as important as it gets to dictate where the fight takes place. Key word is mixed martial arts. Everything needs to be mixed up together. All the best parts, all the most effective parts of a martial art brung to the table. Dean Glencross does that beautifully, particularly with his strikes. He mixes up his punches to set up the takedown very well. And the wrestling being the glue that holds everything else together. Back to Grant Waterman and we'll bring out his opponent for this MMA contest. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the second fighter to enter the cage, Karen Shanahan. The Fighting Irish are in the building tonight here in London. Kieran Shanahan, a very highly touted stand-up striker, Dean, making his debut on the Rise of Champions. But in the words of One Punch himself, this is certainly one of the top guys to watch out for. Full stop on the aisles this year, making their debut. Bring it to the table, great Muay Thai. He's an exceptional Muay Thai fighter. I've been in some crazy wars go ahead and research him, you'll see. Trained very hard, as always. He's got that fighter mindset, Chris, you can't be taught to work hard in the gym, go home, cut out all the alcohol, all the time-wasting things, the women, and come back and come and train. Now, Dean, you talk about what it takes to be successful in one discipline and transition to the others. What, in your mind, makes this guy so well adapted then to MMA? He brings to the table his Muay Thai skills. A lot of Muay Thai fighters, they'll throw from the back hip. What I mean by that is he pulls his hips back and throws the power, but he's still got his hip back. He won't commit forward and allow you to take him down. So here we go, Kieran Shanahan, another real hot prospect on display. And a lot of big questions coming into this bout as to what type of fighter we will see. Clearly nobody doubts the Muay Thai pedigree, but he's got the full package we've been told. Here he is, Kieran Shanahan. Back to Grant Waterman, and we'll get the action underway here at the Rise of Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is in the Rise of Champions welterweight division. Introducing these two warriors, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He weighed in at 167.5 pounds. He represents a Tsunami MMA. He is Dean Glenn Cross. And standing across the cage in the red corner, he weighed in at 169 pounds. He represents Team Titan. He is Kieran Shanahan. The gentleman, Daniel Movahidi in charge. The door of the ring has been sealed. It's Kieran Shanahan out of the red corner from Team Titan. Taking on the Tsunami fighter in the blue, Dean Glenn Cross. Shanahan on the back foot, utilizing those beautiful kicks. And he's able to push his opponent away. See, he put his hands out and they fire off him away. Excellent disperse of Muay Thai tactics there in the MMA game. But doubling up to the body, swapping stances into a long right jab as his opponent fishing for the early takedown is Glenn Cross. The Tsunami fighter certainly very wary of the dangers 
that Kieran Shanahan will pose from the outside, Dean. Ben Cross here on the back foot, slipping quite well, but putting his head down. He needs to be careful of the up kicks and knees from Shanahan. Loving the movement from Shanahan thus far, moving his head off the center line and staying very light. But being on the back foot up against the fence would be the wrong place. Shanahan opting to exit out there, but he needs to make sure he exits with his arms up. He can't catch a punch on the outside circling out. Dean Glencross does have power in those hooks. Glencross switching up here nicely. But I think at some point, once he feels he's in a confident position, Dean, it's going to be about that level change. And Shanahan very wise to that. Shanahan nice and light on the feet on the outside. Looking for his ample opportunity to line that decisive strike straight down the pipe. Nice hook there on the outside. And the movement of both men, an interesting contrast, both landing effectively with leg kicks. The pressure certainly there from Glenn Cross, but the movement-based striking approach, the more intelligent approach to secure damage limitation, if you will, from Shanahan is on full display here. Shanahan on the outside, nice leg kick there, moves off beautifully laterally, evades the lead hook of Dean Glencross. And Shanahan willing to take chances on the back foot as long as he can circle back into space. Every time he's up against the fence, he typically then moves laterally or diagonally to get back into space. This is the first time Glencross has been able to get him here, Dean. Nice hook there, I think it hurt Dean Glencross, that's why he went inside and opted for the takedown. Scooped his opponent up, slammed him to the mat beautifully. Look for Shanahan now to start moving those hips, retaining the half guard. Glenn Cross on top here, certainly in more comfortable territory in full side control. Glenn Cross trying to sneak that right leg out and up for the mount. Shanahan senses that and turns, but he gave his back up. He's eating some punches from the top. Shanahan trying to defend here and tuck his chin, turtling up, but the body triangle going to really lock down this position for Glenn Cross, Dean. Have to be careful with the body triangle on the top. If Shanahan senses this, he could turn in that guard. When you have the hooks on the hips, it alleviates the turn. And he certainly did the right thing of turning him to that side where the connection was, Dean, where the figure four was. That relieves the pressure on that body triangle. But that was the closest, certainly, at least throughout this fight, Dean Glenn Cross was to finishing. And that was a great position, Dean, and the way he was able to capitalize quickly. Jumped on his back. Excellently, very fast, looking for the hooks there. Aggressive jiu-jitsu in MMA, excellent stuff. But Shanahan on the bottom, very calm, very collected in this fight from Team Titan, working his way out and avoiding the submissions. And biding his time, Dean. He knew he was able to ride the clock out, listen to his corner. It sets up a compelling round two here in this thrilling matchup at the Rise of Champions. Round two here, Kieran Shanahan taken on Dean Glencross. Team Titan versus Tsunami. Vicious kick from Glencross, but Shanahan gonna time those punches. It's interesting to see how both strikers, Dean, actually are striking simultaneously. But Shanahan very happy to enter these exchanges. And the difference here, if you'll notice, Shanahan's hips are square on. He's facing his opponent. He's not turned to the side. This allows him to load up that Muay Thai power, but also to sprawl his hips back, because he's definitely going to sense that Glenn Cross wants to take this to the ground. And I love how Shanahan goes southpaw, in this case against the Orthodox. That open-bladed stance causes problems when he lines up that left shoulder for the left cross. Shanahan's done that a number of times here and clipped Glenn Cross just like that. Skimming by Glenn Cross. Nice slip from Glenn Cross. Nice left jab there from Shanahan. Nice hook on the inside. Gets out of the pocket beautifully. Shanahan looking to set up certainly what could be fight ending strikes. Stepping in for a nice low kick. Chops low and then goes high. Glenn Cross bleeding from the mouth here. Noticeably having an effect on his breathing. They breathe from the mouth and also if you can't breathe through your mouth and your nose is going to have an effect on the cardio there. So we could see Glenn Cross slow down in this fight. But what Glenn Cross did well there was get a hold of Kieran in the clinch and then immediately disconnect and strike. Shanahan on the outside. Oh, Glenn Glenn Cross comes straight down the middle, walks onto that punch. Question mark kick from Shanahan. 
I like how Shanahan kicks very directly, Dean. It's a quicker route upstairs. The way he flicks his knee and shin up and that more direct approach. You've got to wonder now when Glenn Cross is going to initiate this takedown. He's leaning back there on the exchanges that will not help his fruitful opportunities to go in as he takes a single leg there. He needs to lean forward. Shanahan defending quite co correctly, looking for the underhooks. I like the way Shanahan uses the blitz to close the distance and land those strikes, but Glenn Cross is making this dogfight. He's got to get in, get a hold of him, and impose his will. Shanahan looking to threaten the guillotine there. Glenn Cross senses it, postures up. Shanahan uses that an opportunity to circle him off and get back into the striking game. Big kicks here from Shanahan. Shanahan continues to stay very loose and bouncy, but then closes the distance so quickly with those strikes, Dean. Shanahan on the outside, coming in with singular shots. He needs to think about putting his shots together, punches in bunches, add him with a kick on the end, and then circle out. If he, if he runs the risk of throwing singular shots, Glenn Cross could time that and duck under for a takedown. Glenn Cross continues to stalk and try to walk his man down. But the thing I love about the fact that Shanahan is able to, often in space, occupy so many different angles. He knows when to intercept, and he knows when to retreat, Dean. And that, in itself, is an elite striking skill that transitions very well to MMA when you're dealing with someone who can grapple like Glenn Cross. Shanahan bringing that elusive lateral movement from Muay Thai, adapting it from MMA, adapting his hip position really well, forcing Glenn Cross to stand up, as you can see from Glenn Cross's face, adhering to the bleeding there from all the punches from Shanahan, because he's able to gauge that distance. Let's see if Glenn Cross now senses the urgency, Chris, and goes in for the takedown more decisively. It's the third round coming up here at the Rise of Champions. Chris Huckster along with Dean Midhat. We can't wait to get things going. We'll be right back in a moment here in London at the Rise of Champions. Third and final round, a touch of gloves, Shanahan versus Glenn Cross. Huge punches off the bat from Shanahan, looking for the hooks at the right hand. Wants to finish this fight, big leg kicks on the outside, circles out, eats a punch in there for the middle, but that was a right hand from Glenn Cross. And this has certainly been the most frantic round that we've seen between both competitors. Shanahan in and out constantly, but Glenn Cross very determined to show off that he is doing enough to not only control space, but be the aggressor. Because if this goes the distance, that's going to be an important marker on the judges' scorecards. Aggression and octagon control, effective striking and grappling is what they will score it on here. Glenn Cross needs to be more aggressive with these takedown attempts and hide them behind his punches, which he's so good at doing. But he's eating those leg kicks on the outside. You can see from the left leg, the well, as he shoots in for that nice double leg, switches straight to the back, looking for much of the same with the hooks. Hopping onto the back of Shanahan. Oh, that looks like it's directly under the chin. If he cinches up these hooks, Chris, we could have a submission on our hands. I'm telling you, man, Glenn Cross is so tough. He's been hanging on here for dear life, though, with that choke on first. Right hook in now, but Shanahan able to drag him and dump him off. Shanahan beckons him on. The crowd applauds. Whoa. We've got a fight in London, ladies and gentlemen. Shanahan, excellent display of technical anti-grappling, able to shake his opponent off his back and then opt for the stand-up. Glenn Cross again, relentless, back in with these takedowns. Up against the cage, shucking the hips away from Shanahan. That was a big takedown there. You see Shanahan wince as Glenn Cross drove his shoulder on the landing. Sitting in half guard is Glenn Cross, looking down to rain some damage from the top. He's got to be careful of opening up these. Oh, straight to the mount, Chris. Raining down punches on Shanahan. Shanahan really needs to escape this position. Wow. And Glenn Cross here looking to finish this fight. Shanahan tries to buck him off. Glenn Cross slides even higher in the mount. Shanahan unable to escape this position. Will it be enough? Glenn Cross absolutely ballistic here. Right in front of our commentary position, Dean. Glenn Cross, relentless punches straight down the pipe. Nice escape <laughs> Unorthodox hit bump, but he could be trapped in an armbar here. Potentially a triangle. Shanahan needs to be careful of the guard of Dean Glencross. 
And Shanahan able to find his way out of that exchange, back to the feet. Racing towards the finish line. It's a sprint here in London. Shanahan continues to move around the ring and finishes with a left cross at the bell. Both fighters raise their hand and believe they've done enough, Dean. Incredible. Amazing back and forth fight. Really accentuating the point of the old school days of a grappler versus striker. Glenn Cross almost certainly wanted to get the fight to the ground, and he proved that later on in the round. When he got to the mount, he was raining down some punches, but Shanahan opted to keep the fight standing with a great lateral movement and the retraction of the hips enabled him to keep the most of the fight standing, Chris, and we could see a decision victory in his favor. But on the flip side, Shanahan able to score a lot of points despite being on the back foot. It seemed to me one of the biggest differences throughout that fight, particularly towards the end, was Glenn Cross's ability to tailor up some combinations that were more acceptable to blitz and close the distance. Basic stuff, straight punches, chain punching his way in to get a hold of Shanahan and try to chase him down and cut down the ring. That was an incredible fight. So many problems, so many questions to be solved by both fighters. Who's done enough? We're gonna go over to our official master of ceremonies, Mr. Grant Waterman here at the Rise of Champions for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, before we announce the decision, please show your appreciation for an absolute war. Well done, guys. Great fight. But after three fantastic rounds of Rise of Champions MMA, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. From the blue corner, Dean Glenn Cross. But ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for a fantastic run-up. I'm sure we'll see again. Karen.